Okay, so today I am going to start working on something that I've wanted to do for the last few years and I've always just kind of waited too long and ran out of time. I would like to propagate my elderberry plants so that I can get more for free. So this is going to be a longer video. It takes six to eight weeks and I'd like to film the whole process. So you're not going to see this until it's probably too late to do it in your area, but this is how we're going to do it. You want to select a newer branch, so maybe one that grew last year, and cut a good chunk of it off. Make sure it's got quite a few sets of leaves. We're gonna take this inside, we'll use it later. I'm gonna grab quite a few of these, and I'm gonna pick ones from the areas that it's undesirable for it to grow into my walkway, and it's kind of would have to get cut later anyways. Now, you want to make sure that you have at least one set of leaves left at the top, but the bottom ones you're going to want to take and rub off. And then we're just going to set this in our clean jar and continue on with the next several sets here. All right, so it has been almost two weeks. It's been a week and five days. I did trim quite a bit off the top once I realized, you know, what wasn't gonna sprout. There was no reason to keep it. As you can see, the leaves have opened up beautifully and I do have roots starting. So I try to keep the water level right about here. You can see I have a leaf right there. I don't want that leaf underwater, so I refill every one or two days just depending on how much they're drinking and I just do it right over the top so the leaves get nice and clean so they're not dusty at all. Today I actually completely dumped out the water and refilled it with fresh for the first time. It was still pretty clean and I didn't really think I needed to but I might as well. Um, but yeah so not even two weeks and I'm really happy with how this is doing. I decided because it is doing so well that I wanted to try to do some more. So I literally just cut these and brought them in. They were a lot farther along than these were when they came in. You know, these were just little buds and these are already starting to open. So we will see what happens. And you know, this wood was a little bit tougher. So we'll see if these ones go or not. It's just another fun level. Of my experiment if these ones work then I know I have a few friends that would like some and then any extras I'd probably just sell for you know two three bucks a plant and yeah I'm just excited and I'll probably give you guys another update in about another week or so all right here we are it is April 27th so it is almost a month for this one. This was put in on March 30th. These ones were a week or two later. Excuse the stone. I'm trying to convince Logan to let me stone in the windowsill. He's very particular, so I just put rocks down for now to let him get an idea of what it could look like and see if he'll say yes. So far he's saying no, but I like it, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. But these ones are doing fantastic. They have crazy amounts of roots. I could actually probably pot most of those up yet. I'm not going to put them directly in soil just because the area that they're going to go in is not cleared yet. So probably in the next couple days I'll pot up some of these. Some of them have not sprouted roots at all. That's fine. They're leafed out. They're all looking good. So I'll just leave them. A few have sprouted roots in these glasses but obviously they're a little behind so we're just gonna leave them here and keep them going so the next update will probably be potting up a few of those and then they'll just have to stay in that until I can plant them all right it is officially time to plant the elderberries I took a bunch to my mom this morning and I'm going to get all these ones planted. Some of them I've rooted really well. 
some night not quite as well. I'm planting them in these containers that I have a mix of compost and soil. Nothing special, just stuff from around the property similar to where they will be planted. You could plant these directly outside wherever you want them at this point, but because the area that I will be having these in in the end is not prepped and ready to go, I am not going to plant them yet. So you can see some of them just have short little roots, not very much. Some of them have a little bit more. Oops. I have broken a few off, so my bad. I think it'll be okay. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Come here, little guy. This one has a fabulous root system. And so does this one. So I am going to get these planted and they're just going to stay out here until they are ready to be moved. If you're curious about where their final resting place will be, you'll have to watch a different video whenever we're getting the orchard planted because that is where they will be going. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps you propagate some elderberries. And if you have not, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel.